right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something well. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Triple C, Henry Cejudo steps inside the octagon. He's ready to fight. Backdrop. Enter Iron Mike Tyson. You know he's had a huge embrace for mixed martial arts. I didn't think we'd see him compete in this setting. Hope he's been working on his takedown defense. Yeah, he's going to need it. Iron Mike's going to need to be able to stay upright if he wants to give himself a chance. But if he's on his feet every second of the fight, Mike Tyson has the ability to knock you out. Imagine a guy that can put you out with 10-ounce gloves landing with 4-ounce gloves in the UFC octagon. Mike is fast. Mike has great setups and Mike has a meanness about him that not many others have. You better be careful fighting Iron Mike Tyson. He is ferocious, and seemingly the speed and power are still there at his advanced age. Mike Tyson trying to make headway here in the UFC tonight. Mike Tyson ready to go, and so are we for our co-main event of the evening. And now our fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC flyweight champion of the world and the former UFC featherweight champion, Henry Triple C. Zahuda! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. So Herb Dean, third man. Ready. Ready. Let's do it. So here he is, formerly the baddest man on the planet, Iron Mike Tyson out of Brooklyn, New York. Stylistically, you're going to see a lot of uppercuts and hooks. Don't blink or you'll miss this one. His opponent getting a lot of trouble now. That was Kiko Vasquez's punch of choice every time he landed that overhand right. Now he's hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly. Oh, big left hook there. Great right hand, no good. Well, it seems like there's been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. Unable to connect. Sahudo's got a cut on the forehead. Yes, he's bleeding now. So some work for the cut man in between rounds if we get there. Oh, nice punch there in the flinch. Triple C for now, maybe C4 in the future, but Henry Cejudo getting a takedown early in this one, DC. I mean, the guy's looking champion. <laughs> He's the best wrestler the UFC has ever seen. This guy is next level when it comes to getting takedown. And he doesn't rush. He starts in that wide karate-based stance, lets you make a mistake. Next thing you know, you flat on your back, as Henry Cejudo always anticipated it would be when he stepped into the fight. Start 
looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice right in. It's amazing how much his boxing has developed dating to his UFC debut in 2014. Alan Byers, the guy who deserves it. That one appeared to stun him. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer theoretically to the end of the fight. Yeah. Oh! stiff like this you expect a bonus check what a phenomenal performance by this young man Set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 35 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Iron Mike Tyson! So Iron Mike Tyson getting it done in the UFC yet again. I know a lot of people had some pause when he transitioned from boxing to mixed martial arts, but the proof is in the pudding. Another big win for Tyson here tonight. And now you can start to think about matchmaking this guy moving forward. He might draw some names in the top five. Huge win for Mike Tyson with the odds stacked against him here tonight.